guys, it's Volt Striker here, back today with part two of the video for uh, the Smash Bros tier list. And right before we start off making the new additions to our list, I do want to move a few of the characters around. After looking at the list for a little bit, I feel that Ken is not better than Martha and should probably not be in the B tier, I'd say. He's probably around here, actually. Probably lower than Donkey Kong. It's about here, I'd say, Ken. Uh, another adjustment I was going to make is I think King K is quite a bit better than King DDD. Honestly, Kirby, I say it's above King DDD as well. I don't think I'm going to put King DDD, I mean King K, over in order though. I think I saw the adjustments for now. Start off with Mr. Game Watch, and this guy is definitely a top tier character. I put him in the S tier, honestly. Maybe high A, but I still feel like he's quite frustrating to play against. He's very good. He's got really good recovery. He's mobile. Uh, he's good at pressuring. He's got some good kill power. Gotta watch out with the size special as well. Ness. Same thing with Lucas. I'm pretty sure... Actually, no. I'm going to put Ness above Lucas just because of the fire stun locking. And Lucas is PK fire, setting you uh, away. Captain Olimar. I know he's ranked relatively high on most lists. I don't really have a lot of encounters with this character. I still don't know a lot about him. As such, I'm going to only put him in the B tier. Next is Pac-Man. Uh, I've heard that Pac-Man's been on the rise lately. Climbing tiers and usage and such, and people are kind of having trouble with them. I actually find them kind of difficult to fight against. I haven't fought a lot of good Pac-Mans, but... Should I put it right here? I say Pac-Man. Pac-Man's a pretty pretty good character. Uh, I'd like to fight a few more of them, though, before I could... Put him in probably the correct spot, I'd say. Palu. Don't worry, guys. I'm not putting Palu in C tier. I would put Palu top of A, maybe S. Paul is quite annoying. The Nair is good. The counter, I always forget about the counter when I fight against it, and the side special is pretty good as well. So it's got that aimbot neutral special. And the Pillar of Light up smash, that's pretty good too. Ooh, Pichu and Pikachu. Pichu's not a bad character, but I don't feel like you should play Pichu because we have Pikachu in the game. I feel like Pikachu is kind of just better Pichu. But Pichu's not that bad. I say Pikachu's... Probably around here, a little bit behind. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Pikachu behind these two. I think I'm gonna move Corn to S. And probably will be the top of the A tier. Pikachu follows. Piranha Plant. On a lot of tier lists, Piranha Plant's really low. From my personal experience, I've actually struggled a lot against Piranha Plant, especially with the down special on Patui. I feel like that's kind of a struggle. It does get comboed easily. It doesn't have really good frame data. But I don't know, man. I feel like if you fight against a good Piranha Plant player, you'll know. That's all I have to say about Piranha Plant. Honestly, even ahead of King DDD for sure. Pit. Uh, Pit is going to be your next Dark Pit. I don't think there's much of a difference between the two, if there is any at all. Uh, just let me know if there is in the comment section below, but I don't think there is really. Pokemon Trainer. Um, I'd say about high B tier. It's probably right. Pokemon Trainer is a pretty good character. I mean, you got to account for all three of the Pokemon, right? Always be careful for that uh, Flare Blitz on Charizard. Richter. This is actually my main, so I'm going to have a little bit of bias towards the character, but... Even with the bias, I don't think I can put him much higher than C tier. Just because of his awful recovery. Uh, yeah, you could just get hit like four times and die just if they let's, let's trap you. Um, Otherwise, I'd put him higher. Obviously, I'd put him probably like A or S, but that wouldn't be true because it's just my main. Same thing would be said for Richter, wherever he's at. Yeah, right there. I'll put him right next to Simon. I like Richter better, though. Ridley. Ridley, Ridley, Ridley. I haven't seen a lot of really good Ridley's. Ridley's a pretty decent character, though. I think he's a better heavy, honestly. Better than Bowser? I don't know. I feel like he's a little bit slower than Bowser. Bowser's kind of quick. Ridley can mess you up with that side special grab. You do have to be worried about that a bit. And, uh... He's got some other good things. He's got a good Nair. Okay recovery. It's not great. I'd say Caesar's probably good for him. Robin. I don't really like this character for some reason or another. I just... I don't know. He's the worst hero, in my opinion. Uh, B tier, maybe? I don't know. I really don't know much too, too much about this character. I mean, it's pretty good. has some good sword or wand attacks, especially up air. I feel like that move kills me way too often, but I feel like that's a good spot for Robin. Rob. I will put Rob at the middle of S tier. I feel like Rob is very good. That up, The down tilt is annoying. The Beyblade is pretty good. Uh, it's good in air. Good aerials in general, great recovery, uh, good projectiles. It's just good, not like all around, honestly. 
We got Rosalina. I just really don't like this character. But I don't think Rosalina is that bad. I can't put it in C tier. I just haven't fought enough Rosalina. We should respect it or know any better. So uh, I'll put it in B tier as of now. Roy Roy is a good character. I will put Roy in. We're at the top of A. I feel like Roy is really strong. It's a good sword fighter. Ryu. Uh, I'll put it right next again. Samus. Same thing with Dark Samus. Where's Dark Samus at? Oh, it's up here. Sheik. Uh, I kind of want to put Sheik in F tier. Sheik has no kill power in this game. It's really awful. I've tried playing Sheik in the past. I've not really been able to. Um, when she gets a combo going, she gets a combo going. But, I mean, what's the point? Like, you're comboing, like, maybe let's say Bowser. You get, like, 70% off. But if you're at 60%, you die to, like, forward smash. So what's the point in playing Sheik? Um, I don't know. That's good mobility, but... I would, I guess, above the Cario, but... This thing's it's not a good character in Ultimate. Shulk's quite good. His recovery's kind of awful, but I'd say he's a pretty good character. I'd put him, like, maybe around here. I'd say he's quite good. Yeah. I think I have Captain Falcon a little bit too high rated. I'm going to put Samus is above him and move him down to... Maybe right here. I'm moving him down several spots. And I'll actually move Shulk top of B tier. All right. Snake... Snake's always been regarded as a high tier character, and I've never really known why. I've not followed a Snake players. Uh, I do know that projectiles can be a menace, especially because I play projectile characters, but I've never really picked up Snake. I don't know. I don't really know why, but I do know he's a good character. Uh, from what I do know about him, and from what I've seen, I guess, I can only put him up to, like, probably around here, just like as a better Samus, maybe. I really don't know too much about him still, though. Sonic. I know Sonic is a good character. I'm going to put Sonic, like... Mm, around here. Sonic is quite a good character. He's got really good aerials. Obviously, he has good frame data. He's very fast. Uh, just in general, he's a good Smash Bros. character in Ultimate. I feel like people look down on Sonic because of uh, was it Spin Dash. Yeah, it's at the neutral special, I think. Spin Dash. And the down special and the side special are kind of the same thing. Except I think it's with the side special, you can pull out an aerial or any other attack after it. And with the down special, you cannot. You have to wait till it ends. So that's kind of a difference there. Uh, Toon Link. It's another character I play a lot of. I feel like Toon Link is quite good. Um, I put him over Bowser Jr. I put him, like, around here. I'd say Toon Link is quite good. He has a lot of utility and such. Villager. Villager's quite good as well. Um, yeah, it's, like, around here. Utility character. Wario. Wario moves very quick through the air, from what I've seen. Uh, he's surprisingly fast. He'll catch you off guard a lot. He's like Diddy Kong, but he's fat. And he, he looks like he'd be really slow. Um, speaking of Diddy Kong, I put him right next to Diddy Kong. I think he's higher than that. I think he's top of A tier. I'm gonna put him in S tier actually. Bottom of S tier. Coin above Mr. Game Watch actually. Yeah, bottom of S tier is good. We fit. Uh, I think it's just a mediocre character. I don't know. Medium. Maybe of them. I don't really know. Yeah, I'm gonna put We fit right there. Wolf. I know Wolf is a pretty good character. If there was an award for the edgiest character on the roster, I think it would go to uh. Wolf, for sure. Wolf. Um, probably, like, around here. Wolf's quite good. I kind of want to put Diddy Kong above Peach and Daisy, but... Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, this feels right. All right. Yoshi. Ugh, I hate this character. Especially because when I first played it, I found out that the up special doesn't actually help you really recover at all. That's always kind of ticked me off a little bit. I know it's got good jumps, but still. Like, if you're missing one jump off of stage... You don't know about it, you're just dead when you're playing as Yoshi. Uh, that being said, he's not a D2 character, he's still quite good, actually. I'd put him... Eh, I'd put him, like, right here, maybe. Right next to Bale. Young Link. I'm pretty sure Young Link is regarded to be a better version of Toon Link. I've used him a little bit. I prefer Toon Link because of the Meteor Assault down air. But Young Link's uh, arrow being able to kill is definitely a bonus. Actually, I'm gonna put... <laughs> I'm gonna demote... I'm gonna demote Captain Falcon even more. To the bottom of A tier. And actually, no, I'll move. I'll move them both down. Like around here, maybe. Top of B tier. I'm sorry, Captain Falcon. Zelda. Zelda's quite good. Um. Maybe like right here. I don't think it's towards the top, but it's, it's quite good. CSS is quite good in this game. I'd say. Top of B, maybe? Maybe low A. It's very mobile. Uh, has good aerials. 
pretty awful recovery, but it's got that good grab too that same as all same as characters share. Hero. I feel like Hero's like a hidden gem. I don't know why people don't play Hero more than they do. I actually really like this character. I know it's a little bit of RNG or just being able to read really quickly. It's one or the other. But I think he's a very good character and that's such I'm gonna put him I'm gonna put him like around here. I think he's quite good. Banjo. Banjo's also pretty good. Not as good as Hero. I'd say he's like high care uh, high B tier. I really like his Wonder Wing, but if you don't have Wonder Wing anymore, you're gonna kinda struggle to kill. But if you just save your Wonder Wings and you know how to use them right, then it's pretty good. It's a pretty safe move, honestly. Terry, Terry's also pretty good. Uh I feel like I'm gonna be saying that a lot now that we're in the DLC characters. Wait, wait, are these all DLCs? Yes, they are. Okay. I forgot we transitioned from alphabetical order to DLCs. Uh I'd say right here. I feel like he's a really good melee character. I feel like he's just a better version of Ryu and Ken. Mm, maybe this is a bit too high, but he's no, nah, it's not too, a bit too high. He's, he's about right there. Pyleth this is very good. Pyleth uses like five or six weapons, and you gotta watch out for that down special. It's very powerful. It'll break your shield. And it'll snipe your stock really early. I feel like Pyleth's a pretty good character. I'll put him like. Mm, is it better than Krom? I don't know. Put it next to Terry. Min 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 Min's annoying, and strong. I hate Min Min. <laughs> it's very hard to fight for me. Uh, I'll put it at the top of A tier. Steve, Minecraft Steve. I understand that this is the best character in the game. Um, um I'll put it second to Joker just because I haven't seen a lot of great Steve players. Even though I understand that Steve is generally considered to be the best in the game, I just haven't fought a lot of Steves. But uh, when I do, I'll definitely put it over Joker. Sephiroth is quite good. It's also really light. I think it has like the same weight as Pichu, which is kind of odd. Uh, it's pretty good, but it's kind of holding him. Missing for the characters, but I'll show you them right now. I put Mithra above Pyra in the A tier because I feel like a mobility and speed uh, is better than just raw power. You know, Pyra's not slow per se. And I put Sora here because I feel like he's not as good as people thought he was as soon as the game came out. Or, not the game, but the DLC. When he was released, everyone thought he was really good, and I think he's just honestly not that good. And Kazuya, uh, he's a menace. He's very strong. He's got that 50 damage, 10 hit combo. Uh, down special, side special, and all those random uh, custom inputs you can do that I have not memorized. And uh, yeah, that is the end of my tier list.